are gonna start out with making my favorite granola and I can keep this in the fridge for a few days and it's delicious. You can eat it by itself or with other things. So we're gonna start off with two cups of slivered almonds, one cup of sunflower seeds, a cup of pumpkin seeds, one cup of crushed pecans, a cup of coconut, and then a fourth of a cup of flaxseed meal and half a cup of cranberries. Then you add as much cinnamon as you want. I like a lot of cinnamon, so I added a lot of cinnamon. And then I'm doing one fourth of a cup of melted coconut oil along with one third of a cup of honey. So the next thing that we want to do is add in your vanilla extract. So you can do about a teaspoon of this or you can do like I'm doing and I just drizzled it over the top. And then you want to bake it at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 30 minutes. And you really want to keep an eye on this just because every oven can be kind of different and you don't want the granola to burn. So the next thing you're going to do is take it out. You want to let it sit for a few minutes to kind of cool down, obviously, if you're going to eat it right away. And then you can top it with whatever you want. So I'm using chia seeds, goji berries. I love goji berries because they are just such an amazing super fruit or dried super fruit. <laughs> and then strawberries are my favorite this time of year. I added a splash of almond milk and that's it. It is so delicious. It's super easy and you can eat it throughout the week. You can sprinkle it on top of yogurt or eat it on its own like I did and kind of eat it as a cereal. Okay, we're gonna move on to this delicious green smoothie recipe. It is so incredibly delicious and I know you're gonna love it. So you're gonna start out with half a cup of water and half a cup of coconut milk along with half of an avocado. This is gonna make it super creamy. You can see that it was quite the interesting thing adding the avocado in there and then a little bit of honey or maple syrup, whatever you want to sweeten it. Two cups of pineapple, very delicious, and it's actually a huge smoothie. So if you can't finish it all, you can save some of it for later or you can drink it throughout the morning. And then one packet of Vital Proteins collagen peptides. There's 20 grams of collagen per serving and it's gluten, dairy, and sugar-free and it is absolutely tasteless. So it is amazing to add into smoothies like this. So you're also gonna add in a large handful of kale, blend it up, and bam, amazing. You guys are loving this recipe too. Moving on to the next breakfast idea, we're going to be talking about buckwheat. Not talking about, we're going to be making it. So add in three-fourths of a cup of water along with one-fourth of a cup of your buckwheat. So this is gluten-free and it's also not a grain. It's actually a seed, which is really interesting. So this is very friendly to your digestive system as long as you are not allergic to seeds. You can top it with whatever you want. And here on the screen, you can see what I'm using. I like chia seeds, cacao, peanut butter, bananas. You can go crazy. I like to put in frozen blueberries. I mean, you can really get customized with this breakfast bowl and it's full of fiber, protein, healthy fats. I mean, it's really gonna sustain you for the whole day. You can top it with some honey or maple syrup if you want extra sweetness, add a tiny bit of almond milk, and you have this incredible breakfast bowl and Bo loves it too, so there you go. Okay, moving on, we're gonna make my favorite pancakes. Bo specifically requested that I do this. So three fourths of a cup of almond milk along with the secret ingredient, which is about a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar into the almond milk. Add in one teaspoon of baking powder, a little bit of salt for your dry ingredients, and then one and three fourths of a cup of almond flour, and then I'm gonna go in and add a teaspoon of vanilla extract into our soured almond milk. It's really important that you sour the almond milk because it makes the pancakes taste really good, which is weird, but it works. Now this is an optional ingredient. It's two tablespoons of arrowroot powder, and this is just gonna help the pancakes be really thick and hold together really well. I'm gonna add in two eggs and whisk everything up. And don't forget that the arrowroot is optional, but I use arrowroot flour for everything nowadays. It's my favorite new thing. And so I throw it in everything because it's just amazing. Tip, a great thing that you can do is make the batter and then store it in the fridge overnight. Because if you think about it, if you have it prepped out in the fridge, you can just wake up, turn this on and pour it in and it's that's it, like you're done. So it's actually so fast and easy and it's really, really good. And that's it. These are Bo's favorite pancakes and my favorite pancakes. And like I said, you can store it in the fridge and then just use it in the morning to make as a really quick and very healthy fiber-filled breakfast. And once again, yes, these are Bo's favorite and we shared this huge stack of pancakes. So it makes two servings and it is very filling and they are my favorite pancakes and his favorite pancakes over any other pancakes ever. So try it out and let me know how you like them. Okay, I asked for your feedback on what you wanted to see for these videos and a lot of you said more savory recipes. So I'm including a savory recipe and a tip 
for making your eggs or boiling your eggs is to add in baking soda. It helps to peel the eggs when they come out of the water. And you want to boil them for about six minutes. Make sure that you set a timer and really take them out at six minutes so that you're not going to overcook or undercook them. And another important thing to do is to transfer them into very freezing water, so an ice bath. And then this is the best kitchen gadget invention in the world. My life has changed ever since I got this, and I, I don't think I could cook without it anymore. I just love it, and it saves so much time in the morning, and it makes me eat healthier, and I just have no excuse for chopping vegetables. I'm also going to show you how to make this optional avocado sauce. You do not have to make it if you don't have time in the morning or you could prep it out in advance, but you're going to need one avocado and then one clove of garlic. I used two to try to make it a little bit more strong and it was too strong. And then one bunch of, bunch of cilantro along with uh, some coconut aminos, which is the secret ingredient to this. It's very delicious. I use coconut aminos in everything, so I had to incorporate it into breakfast. And then one teaspoon of mustard. I'm using Dijon. So then you want to blend it up and it makes like a nice creamy sauce and it's absolutely delicious and once again packed with heart healthy fats. It's going to keep you full throughout the day, balance your blood sugar. Uh, avocados are just the best thing ever. So then you're going to take out your sweet potatoes, which I never even said what I was chopping. Oh my gosh, I got so excited about the chopper that I didn't even talk about it. So this is just a sweet potato along with onion. And then we added in our kale and then I put a lid on top of it to steam it a little bit more. You put down your avocado dressing and then you top it with your kale and your potatoes and onions and stuff. And it's really delicious. Then you can add in your egg. So this is a soft boiled egg. And obviously if you can't have eggs or if you're allergic to eggs or if you don't like eggs, you can always substitute anything in these videos. So if you can do tofu, you can do tempeh, those kind of things hurt my stomach, so I stay away from them. It's all about what makes you feel good. These are just ingredients that I love and that work for my body. Yes, Chuck. Look how beautiful mine is. Chuck, you're jealous. Oh my God. Oh, I did it. Magic bowl. Get that sour milk, yo. 